On the 8th of June 1955, a young boy named Tim Berners-Lee was born in London. Why is this date significant to history? Well, Tim grew up to be a computer scientist and the inventor of the World Wide Web. In 1990, he built the world's first web page and titled it The World Wide Web. It featured links to additional pages with information on himself, his team of scientists, and the history of the project, as well as a detailed explanation of what they hoped the project could achieve. The website's home page described the World Wide Web as a wide area hypermedia information retrieval initiative aiming to give universal access to a large universe of documents. In a publication called 80 Moments That Shaped the World, this breakthrough was placed at number one and it said the internet has changed the shape of modern life forever. We can connect with each other instantly all over the world. It is true, the connection options available to us nowadays are unlimited, it would seem. I mean, I can sit here at my desk or out and about on my phone and connect with somebody and, and see them and talk to them, even if they're on the other side of the world. As humans, we need connections. Even someone like me, who is slightly more introverted by nature, I need to connect to other people to get the most out of life. But there is an even more important connection that we can all make that doesn't require the internet. The most important connection we can make is with God. And we do this by talking to Him. The Bible says in prayer there is a connection between what God does and what you do. God wants to connect with you. And he has made this possible, not by complicated computer programming, but by sending his son, Jesus, to make a way for us to talk to and then be connected to God. So today, make the most of the opportunity to connect with the one who knows you, who wants the best for you, and who loves you like nobody else.